Okay, so this project is very simple, it's very affordable, and here's what you're going to need to get started. So first things first, you're going to need some custom cut mirror. Just measure the sides of all your furniture and get this cut at a custom glass cutting shop or Home Depot. Some adhesive for your mirrors, make sure it is for glass and mirrors, otherwise it will not stick no matter how strong you think it is. This is for the doorknobs, the E6000, it's just a super industrial glue. You're also going to need some doorknobs, take off the screws because you're only going to be gluing this on. You're also going to need a tape measure and ruler for some precision. A dry erase marker to mark for the doorknobs. You're going to need this caulking tool so that you can seal the edges. And of course some clamps to hold everything in place overnight. First things first, you're going to remove the drawers, lay them down on a steady surface, hopefully somewhere you can actually leave them to dry for 24 hours, and then you're going to dispense the construction adhesive evenly across the surface and stick the mirror on top. Make sure to evenly distribute so that the entire mirror and surface has coverage and it will be durable and will last you a long time because you do not want this to fall over the place. And now you're just pressing it on, making sure it's nice and even. If there's any adhesive that oozes out, make sure you just wipe it with a damp towel. And then you're going to secure the mirror in place with these clamps. Leave these clamps to set for 24 hours. It is very important that you do that so this adhesive can dry and the mirror can stay in place. Do not remove the clamps for 24 hours. You're going to want to repeat this step on all sides of your furniture and your drawer that will be exposed and then map out where you want to place the doorknobs, obviously in the center of the drawer. It's best to do this with a dry erase marker so you can just clean it up after in case it's wrong. Just dab on a little bit of the E6000, firmly push it in place, let that set. Do not tug on those. In the meantime, Repeat that stuff on every door where you want to have a knob. And then you're just seeing that I'm repeating the step on every side of the piece of furniture that will be exposed. In this side table, it was the drawers, the top, and the sides that I decided to mirror. I didn't mirror the back because it's never going to show. And then just make sure you have enough clamps to hold all of your mirrors in place so that you don't have to spend days and days completing this project. And yeah, here's the hardest part, patiently waiting with my puppy Tyson for this to dry. And then remove the clamps, move the drawers, and set up your piece of furniture and decorate it. And you're all done. To maintain is very simple, I would just use some Wendex glass cleaner, whatever you have on hand, always dust and just be gentle with this. Thanks for watching. Thank you.